So my beautiful people, I am back with another Hour of Ring video and today guys I showcase you one of the better talismans in this game, it's called the America's Source Seal. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So those interested in those talismans that raise stats, this one is for you. Okay so. The America source, I'm pretty sure this is going to stand out to a lot of people. Because we've got the, the low budget version now. The Scar Seal raises its tributes but also increases damage, uh, damage taken. This raises things by 3 as you can see. It's not bad. I mean that's not bad. But it also increases damage taken by about equal amounts. But then we have the bad boy. The big boy. Greatly increases attributes. But also increases damage taken which is again... The same thing so it's a plus five this one that's a plus three so this will be obviously a negative five in terms of uh resistance against damage certain damage this that, and the other but look guys we have mind here intelligence here faith arcane focus points equip load discovery this thing is amazing like i said if raising attributes is something you are interested in this is definitely something you want to go and grab okay so to that get this it's well it's relatively straightforward once you get to end game, but you need to be far north up here, guys. So you need access to the uh, Grand Lift of Road, which you need to be the Omen King for. You then need to get the two sides to the Halitree Medallion. One comes from Commander Niall, and the other one comes from a NPC hiding in a basket down here somewhere. But there's plenty of guys and them people. Uh, so you just search any of them you'll be fine but I guess most people now are up here so you have now access to the hidden path to the Halid Tree and you come far enough as you can to this town here now you do a mini quest here guys which unlocks a portal which takes you up to the Halid Tree area I've got a guide on this which I'll link down below guys so yeah check that out uh, you'll get here then guys and I also have another guide which you should definitely check out which will showcase to you if you need it every single grace point running from one to the other so yes because this one and a lot of the actual loot in here guys i can't start from the top because if i do every video is gonna be like 20 minutes long because it's just a maze it's just a it's hard to navigate this area so if i can say to you guys yeah come to this one right here or this one right here there you go you already got the grace point open you can load straight in and run from that grace point that's what i plan to do so yeah check out those guys the link below so today for this, for this talisman, you want to come to the prayer room. So load in here, guys, and follow the route I take on screen now to come and get this thing. I mean, it's definitely worth your time. Um, what I did forget to say was you will need a stone sword key. But other than that, you can't... I mean, there may be a few enemies in your way. But the route I take, I mean, you should avoid them, hopefully for you. I mean, there may be a big boss dude uh, on the bridge. I already took him out in the video, but you can, it's not hard to actually get past him. So yeah, do as I do guys and hopefully you get this thing nice and easy. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.